a string wrapped around a hoop. A string is wrapped several times around the rim of a small hoop with radius 8 cm and mass 0.18 kg. The free end of the string is held in place and the hoop is released from rest. As you can see, this string is held in place and hoop is released from rest. So the hoop will descend as it as the string will unwrap from the hoop. So after the hoop has descended 75 centimeters, calculate part A, the angular speed of the rotating hoop and part B, the speed of its center. Okay, now it was uh, released from rest. So you can see that uh, we have released from rest. That means initial kinetic energy of the hoop is zero joules. A final kinetic energy will have two components. First of all, there will be translational kinetic energy of the center of mass, one half mass of the hoop, uh, V center of mass square, and there will be a rotational kinetic energy, one over two, I center of mass, omega square, because it will be rotating uh, about an axis going through the center of mass. And we have a relationship between the angular speed and velocity of the center of mass. V center of mass is omega times r. So the speed of the center of mass is angular speed times r, the radius of the hoop. And we have initial potential energy that is equal to uh, mass of the hoop times gravitational acceleration times h. And final potential energy, I'm going to say it's zero joules. So I define potential energy with respect to the uh, 75 centimeter uh, fall distance. Okay. Now in this process, is mechanical energy conserved. Uh, so we have conservation of mechanical energy, delta E mechanical is equal to zero joules. We have no friction uh, in the system and all forces are conservative. The gravitational force is conservative. Therefore, we're going to have conservation of energy. It's conservation of mechanical energy. So what does that imply? Uh, the delta K change in the kinetic energy, final kinetic energy, one half m omega square r square. So it's one half m v center of mass square where V center of mass will be equal to omega times R. So it's omega square R square plus one half I center of mass omega square, which is rotational kinetic energy minus zero initial kinetic energy must be equal to minus the change in potential energy, which is U initial uh, minus U final which is m g h okay now you can recall for a uniform ring uh, with mass m and radius capital r the moment of inertia was calculated in problem 9.48 it was found to be m r square so i can substitute that for i center of mass so rewriting this equation energy conservation equation I have one half m omega square r square plus one half i center of mass, which is m r square omega square. Uh, this will be equal to, you can see that these two terms are the same. It's m r square omega square and this must be equal to m g h so the m's will cancel 
and we will be left with an angular speed omega equal to uh, 1 over r square root g h so if we plug in the numbers here what was the radius of this hoop 8 centimeters so it is 1 over 8 10 to minus 2 1 over 8 10 to minus 2 meters uh, square root of 9.8 times 0 0.75 meters and that gives us 33.9 radians per second as the final angular speed when the hoop has descended uh, 75 centimeters and part b is asking me the speed of its center the center of mass will have a speed that is equal to omega times r because this is rolling without slipping type uh, problem you can see that there is no slipping this is just uh, rotating coming unwrapping continuously without slipping so we have omega times r 33 33.9 multiplied with 8 10 to minus 2 meters this gives us 2.71 meters per second as the final speed of the center of mass okay so in this problem we have a string that is wrapped around the hoop uh, the hoop has mass 0.18 kilograms and radius 8 centimeters we have found out that this mass is not that important because it cancels anyway uh, the free end of the string is held in place the hoop is released from rest initial kinetic energy zero after the hoop uh, has descended 75 centimeters by falling down and unwrapping what is the angular speed of the rotating hoop and the speed of its center the final kinetic energy has two components the translational kinetic energy of center of mass one half mv center of mass square so as this center is going to have a speed and we have rotational kinetic energy one half i center of mass omega square and v center of mass is related to angular speed omega as omega times the radius r the initial potential energy of the center is mgh and final will be zero uh, when it falls a distance 75 centimeters the mechanical energy must be conserved because we don't have any friction in the system and all forces are conservative and in order to use this equation delta k equals minus delta u first thing i do is i substitute omega r for v center of mass so this becomes an equation for omega and uniform ring moment of inertia was calculated in problem 9.48 to be mr square so i substitute that result here as well and we find omega is 1 over r square root gh and v center of mass is basically uh, this quantity multiplied with the radius 8 times 10 to minus 2 meters